<laughs> Woo! G'day guys, welcome back to another episode and I'm finally back home. I'm at Mossland and I am so excited to be here. As much as I loved living on that tropical island for the last month, it was time to go home and see this girl right here. Come on Shrider. Hello. Hello. Say hello to everyone. They haven't seen you in so long. Huh? Hey, what you been up to? Huh? Have you missed everyone? Ew! Right, let's go on an adventure, huh? Come on, let's go! So we're gonna get straight into it. We're just gonna go around to the shed, pack the ski, and I have no idea what we're gonna get up to. We're just gonna go out, go on an adventure, see what happens. It's real funny. I woke up this morning to the strangest weather. There was like fog that come over Moss Land. While well, I'm packing a ski, I'll roll those clips on. And me and Strider have been doing the craziest laps around home because we're so excited. Let's go! Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks I heard enough of it Like what you gon' do, where you at, who you with You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real eyes, real eyes. <laughs> <sighs> That's bloody go Town is crazy, there's so many tourists in town It's the season like right now Caught up with my brother and Sammy last night. The rest of the boys are busy doing their thing in town. Hopefully catch up with them over the next few weeks or whenever it lines up. Craving a trip out diving with the boys. You must be so excited. Ooh. I think it's been probably about a month since me and Strider been on the jet ski. Woo. Let's go. Well, that was not planned. I didn't expect that jet ski ride to be so short, but we got a call from an all boy while we're out there and he's got a couple of days off. So Strider and I and Vicky are gonna boost up the coast, catch up with my old boy and go on one hell of an adventure. He's got something planned. See you guys on the road and on to the next adventure already. I'm so excited. Here with the old boy 20 years ago, he taught me how to surf, and we're back. I haven't been here for so long, and we're gonna surf. <laughs> See what happens. Thought it was a plug, now you running off. What you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your legs, don't talk about it. <laughs> Where we're heading is a long way this way and I've never been there. But we got a really short window to get in and we're basically stranding ourselves in this system when we're there. So it's a bit of a dodgy mission, that's why it's just me, Dad and Strider and Vicky's decided to stay home because we don't really know what we're getting ourselves into and you know I love that kind of stuff so let's get over there and get into it. <laughs> we ain't Strider being a lot rougher than this. Just made the map of the river system. That's where it gets a little bit dodgy. No reception, no help. We're locked in there until the tide comes back up. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Whew, it was ready. Woo! Like normal, we've packed no food, and what we're after today is the giant mud crab. Everyone on here hasn't seen you for ages. Say hello. So first things first, we've got a heap of mud crab pots here and we're gonna set them out. It's so windy right now, so sorry if the audio is not the best. We're trapped in here now, we can't head back out that way because at the end there it's all blocked off, but we can go in. Shallow here. When's low tide? Hit the bottom here. <laughs> not very deep. <laughs> well, that's what it's all about. The adventure. Oh good. Yeah, it's pretty deeper over here. Like a big deep hole here and probably for the rest of the creek system here. So we'll end up finding a place to put the pots along here in the deeper water. Woo! Enough rope. Oh, that was sick. Nice work, Dad. Ew. 
adventure starts on foot and we're just gonna go that way. Heaps of driftwood to make a little fire later on, but look at all this. <laughs> Ew, big trumpeter. Absolutely cool. Slug once lived in there. Put it back, but. Very recently, just been a big skippy here. You can see he's come through here. That's his tail there. Into the mangroves we go. That right there is definitely a mud crab hole. <laughs> so obviously recently he's uh, grown up a bit and got rid of his old skin there, his old shell, and they do that often. Wasn't anyone home in that hole, but a bloody good sign with the shell and all that, and that's a fresh home. So he or she is obviously out hunting or walking or mating somewhere else. Oh yeah, there's a little one in here, I think. We'll get him out and I'll show you guys. I think it's a juvenile. There he is. Hello, buddy. Watch out, Strider. <laughs> no, it's not a juvenile, it's a female. This here is a female. It's actually a pretty big one. I thought it was a juvenile buck, but it's a female. So um, she was just chilling. It's a, such a good sign that there's such a healthy population. And you want to grab the back there and they can't get you when it's like that. How you can tell it's a female? is this big rounded back part there. If it's a male, it's a more triangle as I've explained in previous episodes. I'll let the females go to breed and look for a big healthy buck. But uh, we'll put her back in a little hole here. There you go, sweetie. Go on. <laughs> what a bloody good sign, Dad. It is, isn't it? How good's that? There's actually another one sitting right here, look. Yep, yeah, another one. This is a buck in this little hole. I thought it was a baby, like a little female. Let's see if I can get him out without taking any nippers. He's too big for the hole. What the hell? Did you see that? I did. Did you see that? I don't want to get done. I'll try, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a little bit disbelief. I, I didn't know that there was such a big crab in this little hole. I'd say what he's done. It could be that guy from over there. He's come over here and he's gone in here, there might be a female down the back and he's come to breed because he is way too big for this little hole. So it's gonna take me a little bit to try and jim jimmy him out here, but uh, hopefully I can entice him and tell him to come out. Hoping that this is the right way to go in. Whoop, here we go. Oh, come on, come on, mate. All right, oh no. Oh, sorry, bud. Oh, ah. wow, what a size. Oh, unfortunately, unfortunately, he's detached his nipper and what they do is they can do this. So they do use it as a decoy. So what the idea is when they're feeling threatened, they detach their nippers and the, the, the thing going for them will eat this and they can get away. But what a beautiful crab. I was hoping that wasn't happen, but I can't believe we found that in that little hole. I'd say there's a female down the back there and uh, well, dad, <laughs> we're gonna be eating good today. We've got our lunch. Maybe we can get one more and that's a beautiful feed and the rest will just uh, check out. But yeah, look at that. That's exactly what we come here for. A big mud crab. Can't believe that. Phew. Oh, yeah. oh just pop, he just let go at the end, didn't he? I was he? even gonna walk past that hole. Ah. They do regenerate nippers, legs, or anything they lost over time. So that is a pretty standard tactical technique that they use to get away from predators. But we're gonna keep him because we need to feed. So there you go, it just proves that mud crabs can really be anywhere and it definitely helps being so remote, huh? Credit to the old boy for finding this spot. Yes! So I just popped my head around the corner there and I could be wrong here, but we're gonna, we're gonna see. I think I just seen a turtle resting. I'm hoping it's resting, hopefully it's not dead. In this little tide pool there, Obviously, when the high tide comes up, it will, you know, the water will be there. So I think turtles come and they strategically pick places to sleep. So fingers crossed we'll sneak over there. I don't want to disturb him. 
and we'll see if he's alive or not because we need to know. So. Right, I stay there. Ah, stay there, good girl. That go through there. Check it. Try not to startle it. Hopefully it's alive. I'm pretty sure it is. It's alive. Oh, it's alive. You're safe. All right, I'm backing off. Have a good bloody day. See you, mate. Wow. Holy shit. Oh. I can't believe that. What a place to rest. Look where he is. Check it out. He's there. Look at this, there's <laughs> no water. He's just chilling, but in five, six hours, the water will be coming back up and he'll be sweet. So smart, that's the best place to rest because obviously no predators, no nothing. Amazing. This is a good time to explain that a lot of you guys have seen me rescue animals before but I only ever intervene when I think it's necessary. The tide is inevitably going to come back up. The animal choose to stay there so it's best just to, if you really don't know, it's best just to leave them or try and get help. Call your local department or anything like that and just check it out before you intervene with any animals. I just thought I'd say that because I definitely want you guys to be full bottle when it comes to all that sort of stuff. I don't just rescue every single animal I see because I think they're in distress. So he's chilling. He knows exactly what he's doing. I can tell you that much. That turtle is living large. Righto, let's keep moving. Dinosaur lives in here. Oh, there's another little female crab in that hole that dad was poking around in, but we decided to keep on trekking. There's a few more holes that we've seen, and that area seems so crabby, but obviously, we don't want to take too much from that one area. Look at that, just up there, there's a boat. I'm pretty sure it's been washed up and abandoned. It looks like a really nice boat, and there's stuff in it. They've got the anchor out. There's been no one here for a long time, but there's no footprints, no nothing. I wonder what happened. Looks like they've been out here surviving for ages. There's an ear poop down there. Leave a comment below, what, what would you guys do? Would you just leave it here, come back, check it later? Could just be lads from in town out here on the wildest mission and something went wrong or who knows, but it has been out here for a fairly long time. And uh, that 15 horsepower is brand speckers. See, see what happens with that. Let's keep moving. We're going this way. We're going to suss some more stuff out. All right. Well, there's a tent there. Is there any people? Yeah, there's some washing hanging out. Oh, there's some washing. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll leave them be, eh? That's uh, ooh, that's bizarre, isn't it? Strider, come here. All right. Damn. He's made it out of a tarp and some sticks. All right, that's the cruise, eh? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? This is this just got so weird. the last thing I thought I'd see, hey, like. Yeah, me too. No. Yeah, so we might not go further. Nah, we won't go any further. You just never know what's going on here. It is all so sus. Yeah, have they been watching us the whole time or what, Dad? Up Damn. Here, uh, downwind. 
Yeah, lucky we were downwind. It wouldn't have been able to hear us the whole time then. That, that tent there, or that setup has been there for, for months, you'd think, judging by what we just seen. Yeah. Like it's not a, and he had a pretty good, like there were sticks holding his tarp up, he's actually elevated his little thing there, and oh well, each to their own. good I just didn't want to go any further because that's our crab pots there so how good strutter we made it perfectly here comes old boy ripping down there I don't think I mentioned, but the reason why we just come in here and we don't care if it gets stranded is because the tide is on its way in now. So from here on in, it's not ever going to get shallower. So we're sweet at any point back to boost it back out. I'll go for sure. I can go to here. Me and Dad are laughing because we pulled up most of the pots and didn't get one, so we just come by jet ski to finish them off. And we were thinking the jet ski was going to spook the crabs, but look at that just pulled up. <laughs> I'm muddy. All right. So you notice that this one's lost a nipper as well, and that's due to fighting all the same thing that happened out there. They just dislodged their nippers as a defense mechanism or anything like that. But another pretty healthy male. Still, he's missing a nipper, but. Yeah, we got mum and Victoria at home, so we'll cook a good feed later on. I think maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just go home and cook up a hell chilly mud crab or something like that, or go down the beach later on. Instead of cooking a couple in the fire, we'll just starve until we get home. Ew! Obviously, mud crabs can live out of the water for a very long time, so I'm gonna chuck them in the back of the tub here. If we get a couple more, we'll see what happens, and then we've got ice in there, and we'll put them straight in the ice, put him straight to sleep, and you bloody beauty. trip home we're just bloody soaked uh, but nothing we can't handle I'm gonna chuck my vest on bunker up lock strider in and uh, see you guys back at mainland in like an hour or two probably we'll catch up with my dad we'll travel together just to make it a little bit more safer but uh, got an e-burb got flares 
pretty experienced. Got my life jacket, got Strider dog. We're sweet. I'll see you guys on the other side. The plans have changed pretty quickly. I'm actually back home at Mossland. It's the next day. Me and Dad got home late in the afternoon and I was looking at the weather and back home here, it's meant to be absolutely beautiful. And it is, it is dead glassy. I can see the water from here. So what I'm doing, quickly I'm packing some of my stuff. I'm getting the ski ready. I'm gonna get straight back out there in a second. While I was packing the car, I actually got the chance to cook up those crabs at home in the fire. So we cooked the crabs up and mum actually made these like crab cakes. So I've got them in the car fridge. I haven't eaten them yet because I want to go eat them out on the jet ski with you guys. But Vicky and I drove through most of the night. I'm back home and I'm absolutely frothing. But I want to show you guys something in the shed. I got myself a new old bike. It's a WRF 450. That's the old 250. That's going through a little bit of love right now. Just been working on it slowly. I need to change a few things on it and get that up and running. So I'm going to give that one to my brother, Jacko. And this one is my new beast, a 450. I've just been changing the plastics out to black here. I've got to take these off and then it's just about done. There's a few rips in the seat. It's pretty old. It's a 2007 model and that's a 2007 model as well. But hopefully very soon, Jacko and I, we're going to go for a little bit of a sendy on the bikes and do like a mud crab mission or an overnight camp or something like that. So get ready and gear up for that. I'm just going to finish off doing that in a little bit. But first, Strider, let's go eat some crab, huh? You want to go on the jet ski? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's time to finally tuck into that mud crab and I've been dreaming about this all bloody day. I haven't had one of these little crab paddy things that my mum made since uh, for like 10 years or more, probably more. So I'm super excited about it. There is another storm just over my shoulder there brewing. It's been such weird weather lately. Check it out. Another bloody storm. Anyway, let's uh, get stuck into this. This is a big crab claw. I didn't even know that mum and dad snuck that in the fridge. I thought they took most of the crab, but they left me the big king crab claw. So I get to get into that. And uh, these right here are the little crab patties that my mum made. And uh, a little bit of chili in there. I, I don't even know the ingredients, I'm sorry guys. She made them while I was stuffing around, packing up all the car and getting it ready. A little bit of lemon, and we're about to tuck into a really bloody good feed here. Look at that. Look at the size of it. It's almost as big as my hand. <laughs> Woo! Here we bloody go. Well, I thought we might as well smash this crab together with that storm rolling through in the background. So I just set the GoPro up here and uh, might as well waste no more time and get straight into it. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Little bit of lamb on. Cheers guys. There you go, this very special mum's crab patties. Good. It didn't even it did it. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Look at the size of this. Oh the Jacko dive knife. If you guys want to get the dive knife or any merch, mask, whatever, youngbloods.co go check it out. I always appreciate your guys' support. Get on there. There's lots of good stuff. Well guys, that's it for this episode. I'm gonna tuck into the rest of this crab claw. A bloody treat, I love them so much. Thank you guys for watching, supporting. Give it a like, comment below. Thank you so much for watching. It's good to be back home. It's good to be with Strider. I love you guys, you're the best. Honestly, thank you for so much continuous support. And that's a bloody wrap, baby! Well, it's a crab claw really, isn't it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gonna do, where you at, who you with You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips Fully blacked out 
but the reason we're so excited is because it is just about to rain in like the next 10 minutes and you know what that means? Me and Strider, we're going for a ride around Mossland in the rain, baby, and I can't wait for that. So I'm just gonna get straight into this. It's only like two bolts. This is gonna be the first time I've ridden this bike. Ah. <laughs> Righto guys, here we go. First time riding the new bike. Woo. I'm excited. The battery's dead. Oh, first kick. Let's go for a little ride. I'm just gonna go really slow around the block just to try it. Probably won't even go our first gear. Remember guys, if you are gonna ride, wear your safety gear, do not do what I'm doing. I'm setting a bad example right now. Look at Strider, she's ready. For those of you who don't know, about six months ago, I bought my brother some brand new motors. Because of COVID and everything happened, it took him so long to get here. They're finally here. That's the reason why these motors are in the back of the truck. The new motors might be on the back of the boat. You don't know yet, but stay tuned. So those of you that don't know, it's going to be an absolutely insane episode. Whenever it happens, yeah!